Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute pit bull on the rainbow loom. This one has a dock tail and cropped ears. And I also made an all white one with a long tail and with regular ears. Same pattern, and you can see it comes out a little bit different. So, and they have a broad chest, and I also made the same pattern as the black and white, but with the caramel color, and that came out really cute too. So it's your choice if you want to make cropped ears and with no tail or tail. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make um, everything. So if you want cropped, I'm going to show you how to make the cropped. If you want regular, I'm going to show you how to make the regular. And also the tail when we come to that part in the tutorial. We're going to be stuffing this dog to make a broader chest. So you can use cotton balls, um, tissue, or even rubber bands. So let's get started. It's really cute. And thank you for your patience for everybody because it did take me a long time to get this dog done, but I just really wanted to make him perfect. I know a lot of people wanted this dog. So let's get started. So once again, I'm going to show you how to make the cropped ears and the regular and tail or no tail. In this tutorial, I'm going to make the same black and white dog with the rubber band eyes. You can use beads if you want also. And I'm going to make regular ears to place on here and a tail too to make it more natural. So I'll have the same color for the picture I'll show on Instagram or the thumbnail is of this video, both dogs. Same coloration, same banding, but with the different ears and tail. So let's get started. We're going to start out with black, and you can use whatever coloration you want. And once again, I have an all white one. They come in many different colors. So I'm going to use double black, and you don't have to do black and white. You can do any color you want. Another double black, and it's also staggered position, arrow facing down. And once again, these are all double blacks. So here's four right here. And now I want a white face. So I'm going to go to double white in the middle. And we're just placing it down. So that's three stitches in the middle, one, two, three, and then we're going to work on the side of the head with white. And there's all kinds of variations with spots and all kinds of colorations with this dog. So you don't have to have this pattern. You can change up the colors, whatever you'd like. Okay, so now we have the whites here, and I want to make a black outline on his forehead. So I want to make a double black, and we are stretching from this pin to this pin. Okay, and then another double black from this pin to this pin. Okay, and that's the face. And now we're working on the body. And once again, I want a white body, or white belly, and a black on the back. So I'm gonna do this coloration, but once again, you can change it up. So it's gonna be a triple white for the neck. Let's make him stronger. Okay, so the shoulders are going to be white, so we're going into doubles now. And then another double white. We're going to stop right there and go to the left side to a double white. And then another double white. Just like that. And now we're going to make the black back. So these are doubles once again, right in the middle. And we're doing 
five stitches long. So there's two, and three. Four and five. And the rest of the back will be black. And once again, you can change it up if you'd like. We're going to be working on this section now. So we're going to work right here. Okay, now we're going to more black, we're working down. And then we're going to connect these two pins with the double black. Okay, now we're working on the left side. And still just working our way down. And then we're going to connect these two pins. Okay, so now we're going to make the front arms. I'm going to make them all white. If you want to change up the colors, you can do that too. And they're going to be one, two, three, four, five stitches long. So I'm going to make the claw first. It's going to be one, two, three, four times around the hook. And then five stitches of white doubles. So place it on the hook and you bring that black over. Place it in the middle. That's one. Here is two. Number three. Number four. And number five. Okay, so we're going to place this guy right here. That pin. And then we're going to make one more, same as before. So one, two, three, four, black, double white. Okay, one stitch, two, three, four, and number five. Okay, we're going to place it right here. Turn to the side, and now we'll make the hind legs, and I'm going to make three stitches of white, and basically three more of the black, so it's a little thicker thigh area. So we'll start out with the three white, and you can change it up to whatever colors you like. So black, one, two, three, and four. And then the three stitches of white, and they're doubles. It's one, two, and three. Okay, now one stitch of black, double. We'll place that to the side and we'll work on the thigh area. And these are doubles, so just place it on the loom. And then another. And then this is your little capping band. Okay, we're going to grab this one first on the left. 
And now the right. And take it off the loom. And we're going to place on these two pins. Okay. And repeat on this side. So a single black. One, two, three, and four. Four and three stitches of white, double. It's one, two, three, one more stitch of black, double. Place it to the side, get our double black here, and double black here. Then place this on the pin, and we're going to loom this one first, on the left. And now the right, take it off the loom. And place it right here. Okay, so now we're going to work with the extension. The extension is going to be a white, so to make the white belly, so you can see the contrast. And if you don't want a white belly, you can change it up and use a different color. But the white belly will also help with looming also. So, to double, place these bands a little bit down. It's only three stitches, not that bad. It's basically the same as the Rottweiler that I have. He has a little extension on him too. This is the Rottweiler. So, okay, so a double of the white, and you place from here to here. Then another double white, and then another double. And we're going to stop. Okay, and we'll repeat on the left side. Let's make that white belly. And one more. Okay, so now we'll do structural bands. I'm going to make black structural bands because the back is all black. So it's going to be a single, and you're going to make a triangle right here. Another triangle with all these singles. Another one, and the last one. Okay, now the tail. If you want a docked tail, it's going to be a double, and then you wrap it around the hook, this, um, sorry, not the hook, the pin two times. So I'll show you right now, it's a double, here's one wrap, and two. So that would be that one tail, with no tail. So, or else you can either wrap it around once, like, you know that, and then place it on there. But I'm going to make a tail for this one, because I'm going to make the natural look. So, it's, so once again, it's a double, and wrap it around this pin two times. So put, now we're going to make the long tail. It's going to be a single. Place it on the hook, wrap three times. One, two, three. Then you're going to take a double. And I'm going to make this tail around five stitches long. So if you want to make it a little shorter, you can do four stitches whatever you want. Okay, so this is three. Sorry about the ringing. So once again, it's one, two, three, and four, and number five. Okay, so then we're going to place that as our capping band, and it's going to be right here. Okay, 
Okay, so now we'll work with the head area. It's not that bad. And also, I'm going to show you how to make the cropped ears too. Okay, so the eyes. I'm going to use burgundy brown. You can use beads, you can use blue eyes, anything you'd like. So it's going to be a single brown. Place it on the hook, make a figure eight, then wrap it around again. Or you can wrap it around four times, same thing. Another figure eight, and wrap around again. And now we're going to take a white band, place it on the hook, slide the eyes over, and we're going to place it on these two pins. Bring it over this middle pin so it hangs and bring the eye down. It looks like that. Easy. The snout area, I'm going to make, he's got a broad, big muzzle area. So I'm going to use a black band, one, two, three, and four times around. And I'm going to use five bands for the, the muzzle. Make it a little thicker. And what I do, they're all different shapes. If you've seen my other tutorials, you know what I'm going to do. You just dangle them on the hook. Make sure that they're all the same shape. You don't want one facing that way and then one facing this way. And it makes the muzzle a little different. So you want them all the same shape. Then you slide the nose over, bring it in the middle, just like that, like a little bow tie. Then we're going to take the upper two most bands, place it on the hook, make sure it's the same bands and you have everything so there's a hole here and a space. You don't want to grab one here and then when you place it on the loom and start looming everything falls apart. So then you take a double white, place your hook, slide it on there, and we're going to place it on this pin and this pin. Okay, so he's hanging. Then we're going to take another double, and we're going to take our hook, and you see the bands right here. Put your hook right through the bands. Just like that. So it looks like this. Then you're going to take your double white, put it on the hook, and slide it through. Make sure you're not grabbing any of the other bands. Take your time. I'm going to do it again. And you're going to place it right here on this pin. Okay, so it looks like this. So you have the double right through this section. I'm going to separate it. And the double right through here. So all the bands are connected. I'm going to place my nose right on top of this pin. And separate that also. Okay, the ears. I'm going to first show you how to make the cropped ears. And you're going to need three bands. Whatever color you like. I'll use black. So place your hook right through. Let them dangle. And you're going to hold it right here. And then you're going to go all the way around and bring your hook right through this hole again. So that is one cropped ear, and you take a single black rubber band, twist it upon itself, place your hook, place it on the hook, slide it right on, bring it back here, and you can see the shape now. 
how it looks. It's um, basically my Pomeranian ear. And you're going to place it right here. So that's one cropped ear. And you just place it straight up. And then you can do another one here. I'll show you really quickly how to make another one. It's the same thing. And I'll do it in white too if it's a little bit easier for you to see. If not, you can rewind and, and watch the black. So it's a triple. Hold like this. Go around. Place your hook right through. And that is one ear. Then you take a single twist and then slide that on there. And that's one cropped ear and you're going to place it right here. Okay, so but I'm going to do the regular ear now. So it's going to be a single black. I'm going to make black ears. Wrap it around the hook three times. So one, two, three. Then you're going to take a triple black. Slide that single over. Bring it back on the hook. Then you take a single black, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, bring it back on, and this is one regular ear. And you're going to place it up like that. And then I'll show you later how to maneuver it. So the ear actually comes down like this. So it's another single black. One, two, three, just three, <laughs> sorry. Then a triple. Bring it back on. Then a single twist. Bring that back on the hook and then place it right here. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure yours looks like this, and then we can start looming. Okay, we're going to start looming, and we're going to do these extensions. And if you ever made my dogs before, you know how to do it, and I'll make it slow so everybody understands too. So we're going to grab this black band first on the left, pull that tail back, Grab the uppermost band and bring it to the left. Okay, now we're grabbing this one on the right. And bringing it to the left. And now the middle. And we're just going to loom all the way up. stopping right there and now underneath this little thigh area is a black band on the bottom we're grabbing this one so we're bypassing all of these and just grabbing the bottom most band okay moving forward we're stopping here and now we're only grabbing the extension which is the three white bands so go underneath that, grab that white band, bring it forward, grab that one, bring it forward, and that one. Now we're going to stop, place your finger right here, and we're just placing our hook here to bring it to the side. And once again right here to the side and you just did one extension now we want to grab these black bands and the white so it's the bottom most band right here go all the way down bring it forward forward and now here is a white band stop right there and our next band is this shoulder band all the way at the bottom and we're stopping 
Okay, so now we're done with this and we're going to repeat on this side. So once again, only this black band on the bottom. Okay, we're stopping and we're going to just grab the white extension. This way. Okay, place your finger here and we're bringing the white extension over. And here's another one. It's just two. Okay, so that's done. And now we're grabbing this black on the bottom. We're just grabbing these bands. Okay, and now the shoulder band, bottommost band. Okay, and we're stopping, and this is your body. So now we're grabbing this triple band on the neck area, all the way at the bottom. Okay, our next is this jaw area, it's on the left. I'm bringing it to the left pin. And now the right. Okay, we're stopping right there. And now this middle area. We're going to grab this band and bring it on top of this pin. Then we're going to bring the nose over. So I'll do this really slowly. So bring it to this pin. And now I want this nose over, just like that. So you can see what I just did. I just brought it over. Then I'm going to separate this, go into this pin, and grab this band. bring forward and then I'm going to grab this white band in between the eyes and stop. Then we're going to grab, we're going to work on the right side and grab the white band right here. Okay, so now we have a diagonal band which changes the shape of the head. So we're grabbing that black diagonal band. Bringing it to that middle pin, and now the side black band to the ear, and now we're grabbing this band right here. And bringing it to the middle pin. Okay, now the left side, the white band. Now this diagonal black to that middle pin. And now the left black band and this top one to that middle. And this is your layout. So make sure yours looks like this the extension and all the facial banding and I'm going to use a double black band to tie it off. Place your hook right through. Bring it in the middle and make a slip knot. Okay. And now we
I can slowly take it off the limb. Remember there's extensions here. So take your time and be careful so you don't break anything. area. And the head. Okay, you don't need the loom anymore. going to turn this into this little guy. So you want to place your finger right behind the head and push everything out. So it comes out, the head, like peel it back, the black part, his nose, pull it out, his eyes you can bring out a little bit too if they're sunken in. a little bit. Okay, stretch him out, stretch the arms, tail, and he is looking good. Okay, so what we're going to do, you can see this is the back and you have that white extension on the sides. We're going to fold him in half and sew it together like I did with the other dogs and first I want to bring his neck uh, to a normal position so I'm going to place my hook right through the triple band right here just do some tugs and it brings it up so now I'm going to make stuffing and you, like I said before you can use tissue paper anything you'd like to stuff him in. I'm going to use some black bands, maybe around like five of them, depending on how thick I want him. I'll put like around six. So I'm going to stretch him out a little bit. And I need a white band to sew him with. So I'm going to take my stuffing And it all depends on like how much you want to pack in here to make him wider. Cause some some dogs are thinner than others and not as broad. So I'm gonna twist this so it's a little bit more compacted. Place it in the middle of him. Fold him, and then just by this you can see how thick his body is. So if you want to add a little bit more stuff in, you can. I'll add a, like two more bands to make. Him a little bit more broader, but you, you know, you do it however much you want. Okay, so now our white band is right here, and we're just sewing up this extension area, and you can see really closely, I'm going to grab this band right here, it's the top, the first extension. So make sure you're grabbing these bands, then you're going to place your white band right through and then you're going to make a slip knot. I'm going to take some of these bands out right now. I just want to focus on this slip knot. Pull it down to make a little knot. Okay, so we're going to stop right there. And I'm going to add my little bands in there. A little eight. Stuff it in there. Okay, now our next stitch of the white is right here. And we're going to take our 
our thread, I call it a thread, on the hook, slide it right through, that's one stitch. Now we have another white for the extension, and we're going to grab our little thread, pull it through, okay, you just did the belly area, and now I'm going to stitch up the black part. This is above the thigh area. Okay, just like that. Take the white, place it on the hook, bring it through. Now if you want to stop right there, you can stop right there. Or you can go one more stitch through. So it's depending on how much you want to stitch him. I'll just do one more. Okay, bring it through. And you just sewed up his belly. Okay, so now we need the trusty scissor. Remember, don't hurt yourself or cut yourself or the dog either. I'm going to snip the end. Then we're going to anchor this end part on one of any band here. Okay, now we're going to do like a triple knot to tie it off. One, two, and three. Okay, so now you can hide this within the dog, or you can just snip it off. Remember, be careful. There's a little excess, so you can just hide it within the belly. Just like that. Easy peasy. Okay, so now bring the arms, the legs down. Legs down. I have my tail. I want my tail to go up. If you have the dock tail, you don't have to worry about this part. Place your hook right through that last stitch. And you can bring it up. Just some slight tugs. And the tail goes up. Now we want the paws to come out. So once again, take, separate these black bands to make claws. And then you want to take this part of the band, just do a slight tug, and it makes a little paw, just like that. So we'll do the front. Separate a little bit. And do a slight tug. And it goes in. I want the paw to come in a little bit. We'll do the same here. Separate the black. And tug. Okay, and finally this one. And tug. Okay, he is looking good. So now, the ears. If you have the cropped ears, you can just pull them straight up. And the cropped ears, also, if yours are hanging down a little bit, pull this up, and there's a band right here. What you want to do is grab it, hold this, and just bring it forward. And this is going to make the ears more upright and more forward on the head. And we're going to do the same thing with these ears. So I'm going to pull it up. Here's my single twist. I'm going to hold this and bring it forward. Okay, and then you can see there's that triple. I'm going to do the same thing with the tugging. 
like I did with the, the feet, and it brings it down. So it dangles a little bit. I'm going to pull this and bring it forward so it's more upright. And same with these triples, bring it down so that the ear comes down a little bit. I'm going to fix the eyes up. Now I'm going to sew this in the back of the head so it hides. You can sew it in the black part. You can put it a little bit in the white, wherever you want. So then it makes it more 3D dog. Okay. And the snout, if you want the snout out a little bit more, place your hook right underneath the nose area and bring it out. And squish his head down too to make the shape of the dog. Squeeze him a little bit here and there to make the shape that you want. I'm going to bring that eye a little bit more out. One's down and one's up. Okay, there you go. And that is your pit bull. So you can, you know, squeeze his head. Make him the shape that you want. Bring that snout back out. So it comes out, squeeze him out. And he can stand by himself. And he's super cute. He came out really nice. And this is what he looks with the docked ears. I mean, no, it's cropped <laughs> in the docked tail. So you can see the difference. Okay? So I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. See you soon. Bye.